Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to another episode of Mike on the Mic. Um, as some of you may be aware, I've been pretty sick over the last little while, a couple of weeks really, two or three weeks. Uh, I'm getting better now. I've been to the doctor, I've had a chest infection, I've had uh, antibiotics. But uh, I'm getting there. Still got a bit of a cough, but I'm getting there. I still have my awful uh, sinuses, of course. I'll probably never get rid of my terrible sinuses, but such is life. Such is life. I haven't actually minded being uh, sick, believe it or not. It sounds a bit weird, but I haven't minded too much because when I was stuck in, um, the weather wasn't very good. It is sort of February, well, it's March now, but it was February when I was sick. Um, sitting at home, wrapped up with coffee and cups of tea, watching GT3 endurance racing. I absolutely love GT3. In fact, I love all motorsports. I'm a total petrol head. You know, apart, from, uh, apart from Formula Yon nowadays, Formula Yon is terrible, as is Formula E and all this electric nonsense, but uh, most motorsports I love. So I'm really into my GT3 endurance racing. I've been sit sitting watching the um, Bathurst 12 hours, that was amazing. Uh, watching that live, I think. Oh, no, it was a couple of days after. And after that, I've been sitting over, over a space of about a week trying to get through the Spa 24 hours from last year. Um, I think I've got about eight hours to go by this point in the vid of the uh, the video. The well, I suppose it is a video. Um, the, the the race, really enjoying that. But uh, and also it's really good fun just sitting with uh, you know endurance racing or whatever on the TV while you're sitting tinkering away with your RC cars, repairing stuff. It's good. Talking about RC, two new models on the way. Um, neither of which I bought <laughs> or, or paid for. Um, in case you're thinking, oh Mike, does that mean that your channel's been recognised and you're getting stuff sent free to review? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. I wish, but nope. Um, no, not at all. But I will explain, you know, that they're, I, well, they're both unique. Uh, they're not linked, so I'll explain them as is, one, one at a time. I'll do videos on each, so just wait for that. Um, what I have been doing on top of that... Yeah, you know, obviously they've got these uh, these RCs on the way. I've been trying to find work as well. Money is beginning to be a bit more of a worry now. Um, I've been working on the Alfa Romeo now. A lot of you may know I've got an old silver Alfa Romeo 156. It's 17 years old, but it's got very low mileage. It's only got 44,000 miles on it. Um, it was going to be a stopgap car. My decision was either get rid of it, get get rid of it, uh, get, you know, keep it for a little while. And then make use of it, then get rid of it and get yourself something better. I was going to get a, a 159 V6. However, I've decided actually I'm going to keep the 156. I'm going to get it painted. I'm going to get the whole bodywork redone. Um, because it is scabby and it deserves to be red because it's an alpha. So I'm going to get it Toyota Matador Red, which is a beautiful dark red metallic. In the meantime, I've been working on the interior. The interior is in quite good condition, but it's uh, you know it's an old car, 17 years old. It's gonna have fluff and dirt and crap in between all the dials and in between the switches and you know under the gear gaiters and everything. So what I did is I uh, I've been spending the last few days really thoroughly going at the interior and taking bits apart and cleaning everything. Started with replacing the rubber audio buttons on the steering wheel because they glow red behind it. The symbols glow red, but there's light bleeding through because they're worn out, so they've been replaced. I never liked the, pl the plastic silver painted finish. Uh, it always looks cheap and nasty to me. It's supposed to be titanium, but it really does look nothing like it. And uh, so I got a carbon effect uh, dashboard. Now you may have noticed the problem already, but if you haven't, don't worry, I'll get to it. Obviously with the carbon one, I need a, a black CD player. So I got the same site, sort of Pioneer. I had my old Mercedes one night. It's a good CD player. I had to get a fascia for it. And also the cables to run it with the Alfa Romeo wiring and the, the cables for the audio controls, which is what you see there. Problem is, if you look at the hazard button location and then on my dashboard, they're completely different. I wasn't paying attention, it was late at night and it was on eBay and that's what happens. I have managed to replace this though, this is the switch for the electric window on the passenger side. It's horrible, awful. Um, unfortunately the one that came had a different switch on it and it wasn't you know, transferable so I had to do lots of jiggery pokery. Eventually I got it to work and the result is that much, much, much nicer. So that took me about three hours of you know dremeling and cutting and gluing and all the rest of it. It was horrible, but eventually I got it in. I was really hoping the driver one, there's the driver one there, it's not very good. It's only slightly better than the, the one on the left is the new one. It's only slightly better than the one that's coming out, but better is better. Thankfully that's, that was fine. I didn't have to muck around with that because that has five switches and six plugs. So I'm so glad I didn't have to, because that would have been a nightmare, absolute nightmare. But that's where I am with the car so far. I'm still waiting on the little badge for the centre of the steering wheel because the, the badge is uh, light faded, sun faded, sun bleached, whatever you want to call it, so I've got a new one coming. Um, 
a few more things to do in the interior. It's got a squeaky clutch master cylinder. I'll replace that. And then eventually get it painted. You'll see it when it's done. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and take care. See you later.